this, this, this is Trans Africa Radio. I don't want to box you and say house music producer. I, 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 I hate boxing people, you know? Like you're a phenomenal house music producer. No. Phenomenal music producer. Let me just say it that way. <laughs> All right, thanks for the compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better put it that way. Now, please tell us about that track, Drop It. And of course, uh, you teamed up with uh, Tantaswa. Tantaswa, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's actually a new track of my upcoming album. Mm-hmm. Um, and there again, I uh, okay, it's got the Afro thing going on. Yeah. But I thought, you know what? I, I wanted to experiment a little bit there. So that why that's why it starts like a, as a like Afro house thing, mm-hmm. and then it goes to this almost like Jamaican dub yeah, step yeah, kind of yeah. influence. Um, and uh, because the song kind of lended itself to that, it almost sounded like had that kind of reggae-ish yeah. feel. Yeah. Had a little bit of uh, like this voodoo kind of you know thing going on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just tried to combine the, mm-hmm. that vibe, you know. Oh, yeah. And uh, I hope I did it. Yeah, I don't you, know. You, you, did, you did a great job. <laughs> if I can say so myself, you did a great job, mate. Thanks, you did a great thanks. job. Now, Famso, you saying that uh, you have an upcoming album? You know, when can yeah. we actually expect that? It's uh, I think in August. It's mm-hmm. going to be. Um, released in August mm-hmm. and uh, some of the tracks that you've been playing uh, the last whatever 20 minutes mm-hmm. will be on there like Drop It yeah. and Magic With You yeah. and a few of the tracks that you're going to be playing so mm-hmm. yeah new uh, new album a uh, couple of remixes included but mm-hmm. like about I don't know seven eight new tracks yeah. three four remixes Looking forward to that. Actually. I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Please, when the album drops, please come here, my brother. Please come here. Or oh, please, like, can we just have a young telephone interview, Yala, and just talk about the album when it releases? Well, I'm close by, so I can definitely oh, come. Please, through. please. This is home, my G. This is yeah. home, yo. Nice. <laughs> this is home, yo. This is home. Any questions you might have for the brother, man, simply what's up us on plus two seven seven nine two five for double four three two nine. It actually goes by the name of Al Alman, aka UPZ. This guy has actually been big for a very long time, and you've worked and collaborated with a whole lot of other people, you know? And you were saying that uh, you also worked with a Kenyan singer. Yeah, Nuela. Mm-hmm. Nuela, she uh, she was uh, born in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was raised in Canada. Mm-hmm. And today she lives in Germany. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had a track called What's the Point? Yeah. Under my Avi Elman name. Uh, but yeah, that track actually did really well. It was released on Strictly Rhythm. Yeah. Strictly Rhythm is one of the like biggest overseas house music labels <laughs> already from the 90s. Yeah. Um, did really well, actually, that track. Yeah. Uh, in Europe. And even here, I think, mm-hmm. yeah, here as well, uh, to an extent. Yeah. Um, music video on the different channels, yeah. etc. So that was nice to work with her. She's a she's a very interesting vocalist and person too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now I, I just want to find out something from you. Like okay, cool. Like you are UPZ, and people know you for being uh, a music producer, a soulful house music producer, you know. And you even actually box yourself in saying that I'm just gonna strictly produce soulful music you know what makes you actually you know play around with other sounds within the, the house music industry well you know what I just feel like I need to explore as an artist yeah. so just doing soulful music all the time like for me I'd get bored Yeah. which is why within that I just kind of explored you know afro deep uh, new disco mm-hmm. and for me it just enables me to kind of like manifest myself yeah. you know uh, from an artistic point of view mm-hmm. so it's great that's a nice thing about house music though it enables you to incorporate a few genres yeah. into yeah. it you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's what I like about house music now within the house music industry who inspires you PZ? who do you look up to within house music yeah well, you know what? You'll be surprised to know that most of my influences aren't from house music. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting enough. Yeah, they're not. Okay, very please from tell house us about music. that. Yeah, I actually like mostly I like uh, vocalists and bands and artists. Yeah, especially also like old school guys. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. From the seventies, eighties, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, from multiple genres. Um, the, I do obviously like obviously respect and listen to many you know yeah. house music producers. Um, but I get a lot of inspiration outside of house music as well and I think that's important too because if you just stick to then you start sounding kind of the same yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want to sound a little bit different tap into other genres bring them into like house music mm-hmm. or whatever and then ah, oh, things start sounding a little bit yeah. fresh and new you know definitely for sure definitely for sure man and you've been doing the most work ever since you want to say something yes also I'm inspired by jazz music oh, I love okay. jazz yeah? you know like yeah. Ma- Miles Davis and all mm-hmm. you know I think that's you know for me that's a that's a big inspiration yeah, you know? yeah. I, I spent quite a few years like exploring jazz uh-huh, music uh-huh. and all that stuff so oh, yeah so, so that's why you jazz, actually, disco. Yeah. Obviously, disco gave birth to house music. So, mm-hmm. I like I like to you know look at the at the roots. Oh, yeah, where, where, yeah. where does it come from? And what's currently playing on your phone or iPod or radio or car right now at home right now? What's playing? 
Um, I'm listening a lot to uh, Satin Jackets. Okay. It's um, I, I was telling you off air. Satin Jackets. They're from Germany. They mm-hmm. they do new disco. Yeah. And I kind of like their their sets. Um, I also like their original music. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a interesting one to watch out for. As yeah. a matter of fact, I like them so much. Yeah. That I approached them. Oh yeah. And I said, listen, guys, I love your track. Mm-hmm. I want to like I want to try uh, you know push it in in South Africa. It's South Africa. Because it's a really great track. So they said, you know what? Yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. We don't really have a South African following, even though they've got a on SoundCloud 55,000 followers and all that. Mm-hmm. They don't have a huge SA following. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try how I'll push you. Yeah. And then I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks as well. I've got a new track called Never Enough. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, I listen to that a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. at home. Okay, that's really dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also like, Keep I, it home. Also, I also like um, this guy called Baker Matt. Mm-hmm. He does more melodic house, yeah. kind of. Um, and I listen also to his, you know, like mixes. Okay. Quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this year is actually the tenth year anniversary of uh, Pure Surprise. Yeah. Please tell us about that, Maji. Yeah. Well, it was released in two thousand and seven, mm-hmm. um, and it's uh, in two thousand and nine, mm-hmm. it kind of blew up here in South Africa. Yeah. But already in two thousand and seven, it was released in Japan. I had an album out. As a matter of fact, it was like it's my debut release, and mm-hmm. actually, it's ten years of UPZ. Yeah. So, um, so it's, it's a great milestone, I think. Yeah. And uh, yeah, one to be celebrated, of course. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think so. So basically what we did this year was um, we thought, oh, okay, we never did a music video for mm-hmm. Pure Surprise. Yeah. Let's do a music video. So we ended up doing a lyric video for it, which came out really nice. Oh, yeah? I think, yeah. Kind of like, it came out a little bit like the Chainsmokers. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, I think it's one of the first uh, lyric house, uh, lyric music videos for yeah. a Soulful House track. So, oh, yeah? Definitely from South Africa. Mm-hmm. So we're like pioneers there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. First to do a lyric vid- yeah. video. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's interesting. And plus, we did a remix as yeah, well. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Listen to the remix. And I was like, okay, I was blown away, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was blown away. I was really blown away. I love your work, Maji. I really, really, really love your work. You know, some amazing tunes right here on Tier Radio. Dark Mobi, Pure Surprise, UPZ, DKP, the 10th anniversary remaster. Sounding as if it was released just yesterday. My goodness, this song is just too amazing. My man, please tell us about this. Well, you know what? Um, because we got the 10th anniversary and I was listening to it and I thought, you know what? There's something that can be improved here, you know? Mm-hmm. And because I did the remix, I thought, yeah. let me like refresh the sound here. So it's basically the same track sound. Yeah. I just did a remaster, tweaked some of the sounds, mm-hmm. made made the vocal clearer, made the bass, whatever. I, I, I'm happy with it. Mm-hmm. And also because we did a music, uh, like a music video, which was never done back Before, then, I thought, yeah. okay, Why let's not? freshen the sound, do the music video, and, you know, get it out there as part of the 10th anniversary, yeah. you know? Definitely for sure. And right now you have a brand new single that you're currently pushing, and uh, it's called uh, Sangoma's Theme. You know, yeah. please tell us about that track. Maji. Yeah, that's a new, that's a new track, a new single of mm-hmm. the upcoming album. Mm-hmm. Um, it's quite interesting. I like the lyrical message on this track. Mm-hmm. It's one of like you know freedom, hope, um, and uh, I think it came out pretty nice. Also, one of those tracks where you know we was we were speaking about it earlier. I'm kind of like exploring new mm-hmm. sound, still keeping it soulful, yeah. but kind of like bringing it more up to date. Mm-hmm. So hopefully I managed to do it with this one. And um, vo- the vocalist Lifford, he's actually a UK vocalist. Oh yeah? But he's actually got South African origins. Oh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. his uh, mother or something is South African, so he's mm-hmm. got family here. Uh, very good vocalist, worked with a UK act called The Artful Dodger. Yeah. And the Artful, Do- Artful Dodger, uh, they're the ones that discovered Craig David. So oh, he was in oh, their camp. Oh, kind oh, of thing. oh, okay. Yeah, had a few hits in, uh, he himself had a few hits in the UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. That's what's up. Really interesting. Yeah, really interesting. Uh, I like this track. I okay. like it. Uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's, why you read, that's why it's a current single right now, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah you better like it. You must like it first before the people like it, you know? Then what's the point of you not liking it and then giving it to the people and then expecting the people to actually like it, you know? It needs to start home as well, you know? But one last question I actually have for you at Trans Africa Radio we play 100% African music, you know? And what are your thoughts when it actually comes to that? No, I think it's great uh, supporting, you know, the local artists of the. You know, of the country and of the whole, you know, continent. continent. Mm. So I think it's really good. Um, and I think it's also, it's important maybe like also, you know, to get... 
people and artists from the African continent mm -hmm. collaborating with those from outside Africa because mm -hmm. then you start getting really interesting things oh, yeah. as well you yeah. know yeah. it will even get more interesting than mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. so so that's cool maybe that's also something to explore but I think it's great that you're supporting South African artists African artists in general um, and just exploring the different because the obviously the continent is made up of many different sounds true, true, true. Um, you know different colors different textures and it's great and let's mix it up let's mix I'm it up I'm all for mixing it up yeah you yeah, know? yeah 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 otherwise sadly we have to say goodbye um, I'm, I'm so sad right now and I was telling you off air that uh, you are one guy that I've actually been looking forward to actually interviewing since back in 2007 and I was in grade 7 you know I was in grade 7 and here I am right now sitting with the person that I actually look forward to for a very long time and right now this is truly honoring and thank you so much for actually coming through and thank you so much for actually gracing us with your presence man G. thank you very much for having me it's been great here mm -hmm. and um, yeah I just wish you know the station uh, all the best yeah. and it looks like it's growing getting bigger and uh, it's great I'm, I'm really pleased and obviously I'm you know supporting you all the yeah. way yeah yeah. this, this is Trans Africa Radio, Radio.